Here are your top stories on CBS Chicago. A 25 year old man is stabbed on a CTA red line train near Argyle. The victim told police that after he was stabbed in the stomach, the attacker then tried to rob him. The victim was taken to Illinois Masonic Medical Center. His condition has stabilized. Hundreds of Chicago police officers will board buses to pr protest at City Council at the meeting today because they don't feel the mayor supports them. Among the issues, no deal for a new contract. The union is also angry with COPA's ruling that Officer Robert Rialmo's shooting of Quintonio Legrier was unjustified. Also at City Council today, two aldermen will introduce a plan today to change the name of Balbo Drive. Italo Balbo once worked for Italian dictator Benito Mussolini. They want to rename the street for Ida B. Wells. Wells was a slave who eventually became a journalist. And it is a big day at the Field Museum. Crews will How big start is it? So big! It's Maximo <laughs> big. Crews will start constructing Maximo the, the Titanosaur, which is said to be the largest dinosaur ever discovered. It will stand 122 feet tall. That's two stories. Crews will assemble a cast of Maximo's body from six different skeletons. It is open to the public June 1st. How exciting. Yeah, let's plan our field trip. Our field trip to the field museum. We've got dry conditions on the radar out there, but we do have a dense fog advisory still in my northwest Indiana counties through 9 a.m. this morning. We do still have a little bit of fog out there. It's not terrible, but we do have temps that are coming in in the 50s. Uh, kind of a crisp start, but going up nicely to about 78 degrees the high today. We'll be into the mid, even upper 80s going into the weekend.